Um, so this is the third video I'm doing on short box. The first two videos were matte variations to work you up into doing short box on the reformer. Um, the first video does everything on the mat using the TheraBand. The second video is um, minimal TheraBand work, but you're propped up on something. Um, we use yoga blocks. So here I'm going to show the short box series that you would do if you came to a reformer class. Um, so you're sitting up much higher. This is called the short box. It's also the long box. The reason it's a short box is because it is on the reformer um, in a short way from front to back. So the long box, long box, you would turn it and then it would be about this long. So short box series. I have a strap at the end here and um, I am going to mount my box nice and carefully because it is a moving carriage. That's what the reformer is. And I am going to sit on this so that I have about a hand's width behind me. And back here is the open carriage. I have a pole and I also have a towel and I'll show you um, how to do tree with a towel uh, later in the series. But I am going to take my pole, which has my foot strap here. It's a handy way to get my foot in the foot strap. And I'm going to put my foot in my foot strap and then the other. Then from here, I am going to sit on my box and I have my feet in that strap. And I like to call it my lifeline. Um, it's what's going to keep me from falling back. So I have to keep my feet flexed. I have to keep my legs super engaged, my glutes are engaged here. So short box series is round back, flat back, side bend, twist, and tree. Um, so th that's what we're gonna do. And it's a lot like roll up series in my, in my opinion. So that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. I love my roll up. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm sitting nice and tall for round back. And this is just a starting position. From here, I'm gonna turn on my legs. And I'm gonna turn on my glutes. So I could be here, if you can look at these pictures over here and see what I'm doing. I'm sitting tall, but I'm not, I don't have my glutes turned on. When I turn my glutes on, I come up about this high. That's what I want to do. I wanna have that engagement in my glutes for the entire series. And then from here, I am gonna do a little bit of a pelvic tuck. And then I'm going to come over so my shoulders are above my hips. And then I'm going to create a little space and bring my head down. And then I'm going to cross my arms here. From here, I'm going to do a roll back. So I'm going to engage my glutes. I'm going to pelvic tuck and round myself back until I'm in a safe spot. And then I'm going to exhale and come forward, pulling belly button to spine. For round back, you can easily come back to here and come forward. As long as you're keeping your glutes engaged and belly button is fine, this is a lot of work. So to go back as far as I was going back here, that's something that you work up to. So little movements, as long as everything is working the way that it's supposed to, and you're focusing on all those areas, that's what, that's the whole point of the exercise. So turning on the glutes, pelvic tuck, little space in my chin. I'm going to round myself back and exhale to come forward. The next step, if I wanted to go into it, is I would round all the way back. I'm going to move my hands here and I'm going to round over into an opening of the shoulders. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to tuck my chin, tuck my ribs, turn on my glutes and round myself forward. Now, that's not something that we would normally do in class, but I wanted to at least show it. Next exercise is our flat back. So, um, always good to get yourself resituated. I'm going to bring my pole out. Um, I can also use a towel or a TheraBand. So, I'm going to use my pole. I'm going to sit nice and tall, just like we did in the other videos. We're sitting nice and tall. Again, I can be here or I can be here and engage those glutes. So I'm gonna engage those glutes. I'm gonna bring my arm up until I can lock my shoulders into place and keep my head into alignment. From there, I'm gonna do a little bit of a pelvic tuck that turns everything on in my legs, flexing my feet. I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna think I'm growing longer 
as I go back and then longer, taller as I come forward. So again, I did um, a little bit of that video, that visual when I'm sitting up here that I have this string and as I come back, I'm trying to lift up, keep straight and then continue to get taller. That's what I'm thinking about the entire time I'm doing this exercise. So I'm gonna lift nice and straight, shoulders are plugged in, glutes are turned on, legs. Inhale as I come back and exhale as I come forward, trying to get shoulder over hip. Inhale as I go back and exhale as I come forward. So traditionally you would do five of round back, five of flat back, and then we're gonna move to our side bend. From here, um, I am going to get into a position where I can come forward just a little bit. So what I want is my head to be in alignment. I wanna sit up nice and tall. So if I can't sit nice and tall here and keep my head in alignment, I need to, so you can see I have trouble getting my head back. Um, I'm gonna come forward until I can get my head in alignment. And I'm gonna try and stay in this position here. So um, again, you don't have to have your arms way back here. Um, that's trouble for my shoulder. I'm gonna bring it into a place where I can actively pull this bar apart and engage my shoulder blades, my back muscles. So I'm coming forward, keeping my head in alignment. I'm gonna inhale and go to the side. So I'm trying to keep in alignment and exhale forward or back to center. Inhale, I'm trying to keep that straight alignment, keeping my opposite hip down. And then inhaling into that side bend and exhaling back. Again, just like I showed on the other video, I wanna show you what it would, it kind of looks like. So same thing, if I had a thread here, I'm thinking my head is in alignment. So I am reaching this up and both side waists are lengthening. So as I'm here, I'm thinking that I am lengthening up and over creating space in both sides as I go. So maybe I'll just come to the side here so you can see what this looks like. Again, let's see. So if my, my legs are out in here and my arms are up, I'm thinking that I have this string here, I'm pulling apart and my head is in alignment. I'm thinking that I am getting longer in both side waists. So I'm pulling and then I'm pulling up and lengthening both sides as I come back. So, um, I don't know the best way to show you here. My head is back. This is also a good option. Inhale. I'm trying to reach my head up and over and then up to the center. So think pulling up and then continuing to pull up to get back to center. So that's your side bend. You're trying to be right in the same pane. Like if you're between two panes of glass, you're trying to be right in between there as you go to side and then side. So that's our side bend. Um, I lost my strap. So, come here. All right, next one that we would do is our twist. So it's gonna be like that round back with a little extra flare. So think reverse saw once you get your, get your round back finished. So I'm gonna bring my arms in front of me. I'm gonna turn on those glutes. So I'm here, I'm here. Then I'm gonna do my pelvic tuck. We're gonna do it in two pieces and then I'll show you the more fluid movement. I am really holding on nice straight wrist here. I'm gonna roll back, step one. Step two is that rotation and that push. And then I'm gonna come back, rotate back to center and then come shoulder over hip. So other side, inhale as you roll back. And then exhale to come forward. So two pieces. So you're rolling back, rotate up and back. So more fluid until you get to the point where you're doing it at the same time and reaching and inhaling and exhaling to center. Then um, something once you get to a point uh, 
where you feel very comfortable with that, you can start adding in the hip off variation. I will try it. I have not done it in a little bit. So we'll see what it looks like because it looks different every day anyway. Um, this is something that you would do with teacher assistants for a really long time, I think. Well, at least I had to for a really long time before I could try this on my own. So I am going to try and center myself. And I'm going to do my round back. I'm going to come over onto my... And then I'm going to come over and come up. So I move quite a bit. So in between each one, I have to get back into position. But what I'm doing is I'm turning on my hip. And my top foot is coming over on top of the other one. So you want to make sure that you have... Um, you're out far enough. I'm actually in the last gear on this bounce body center line. Um, it has a little bit of a shorter carriage than most, so I'm in the last spot that I can be in in order to do this. But you want to make sure that you have um, a nice taut strap to be able to do this, especially when you're first starting out. So we'll try it to the other side. Not sure what's going to happen here, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to inhale as I go back, and I'm going to rotate on that hip. When I come out here, I can spear the whale. It's a side bend, and then come back in. That was a little ugly, but that's okay. So that would be the next part to that. Um, getting up into some of the more advanced stuff. Again, just being able to do round back or do the two-piece round back and then twist is so much work already. Um, most of the time, there's not a lot of reason to, to do the fancy stuff, but we'll see what happens here. So I'm going to roll back onto my hip. I'm going to side bend and then I'm going to come all the way over, try and get on that hip oh, and come up. So not super beautiful, but that is spear the whale, I think, and around the world. Um, so that's that variation. Now we'll go into tree. So beginner tree, um, on the reformer. Here's how I like to teach it if you're a little unsure about going back, even though you can hang on to your leg, getting a Fletcher towel um, or towel or nice uh, strong TheraBand is a good idea. So you want to center those hips just like we did when we were on the mat. Um, if you remember when we did the TheraBand, I held the TheraBand and then I made sure that my legs and my hips were nice and forward. That's what we're gonna do here. I'm going to use this so you can see. So if you have trouble, like if you have trouble straightening your leg at all, I recommend using this. This is going to help you so much and it'll also help stretch you out so that you can get there eventually. So from here, um, we would do some bend and straighten work. Typically that's what we would do. And then we would do flex and point and some circles. Um, and then we would go into our tree. So I'm gonna make sure that my standing leg is really underneath that strap. I'm gonna try and make sure my hips are still forward. As I round myself back, I'm gonna roll myself down. Now you're not gonna roll down this far, but I'm just gonna show it. I'm gonna tuck my chin and come up. So with the towel, much easier to do that. However, for beginners, um, or just to kind of test the waters, here's what you should do. Bring your leg up and just round your hips back and hold this position and then come forward and let your leg down. So what that's going to do is it, it makes you feel comfortable on the box um, to give this a try. So to come back up, you just come up and make sure that your shoulder blades are in. Um, you have your towel and then you can just try rocking back a little bit. So your pelvic tucking, just like you did with your round back and then come forward, almost like you're doing like a round back and a hinge sort of at the same time. I'm pulling belly button to spine as I come back. And what this is doing is it is, it's really stretching out my hamstring. I have tight hamstrings and then I'm going to come forward. And then once you feel comfortable there, um, 
you can come back. And then maybe you just bring your hands down and pull belly button to spine and hold this position. You're a little bit lower. And then maybe you walk yourself up and then you bring your leg up. So that's a variation with a towel that you can do. Um, it gives you a little bit more support and um, it's safer than not using anything at all. So regular tree, I'll show you that. And then you would, you would switch sides to the other side. Um, I'm trying to think if I should do the, maybe I'll do the other side that way. I don't have to repeat this after the video's over. All right, so I'm gonna get this, um, right leg is gonna be standing in here and it's gonna be nice and strong. From here, I'm gonna come up, try and keep shoulder over hip, which I feel like is one of the harder parts. And I am gonna kick my leg out straight and come back. So I'm trying to sit nice and straight. I have a little bit of a pelvic tuck going on here. And then I'm just gonna point and flex. If you have it in you, um, I usually have to pull up here to bring your hands up and point and flex, you can do that. Just try and keep your shoulder blades in your back and um, try and keep yourself nice and straight. So do a little circle, um, then you can bring the leg in and out if you want to. Then from there we pick it up and then this is where sometimes I have to straighten my hips and then you start walking yourself back. So from here, I'm trying to keep my hips in alignment I'm trying to keep my shoulder blades back. So maybe I just come here and I hold and I stretch. This is more of a stretch than the towel was because you know I don't have that extra length. And then maybe I just come up. So think when you were doing round back, you were doing that pelvic tuck and you were rounding yourself back. It's like that except for your back pretty much stays um, in a straight line like you did when you were doing your flat back and try and keep those shoulder blades in. So this is good prep work. And in most cases, this is enough. It's a good stretch. From there though, you try and keep your leg um, in position and then you're gonna try walking down that leg. So maybe you only come to here and then you walk back up. And then you walk back until maybe that very low, low part of your back hits and then you come up. So you can do that a couple times and then you can bring yourself up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back all the way. So I'm gonna bring my leg all the way back. I'm gonna get myself in alignment and then I'm gonna roll myself down. This leg, the standing leg, is really, really using that strap. I'm gonna bend and really love this stretch. Now I'm gonna tuck my chin. I'm gonna start here, pull my ribs in oh, and start to walk up so hard. I'm gonna make sure I'm nice and straight. And then I'm gonna go back again. And reach, tuck my chin and try and reach out. So I'm trying to reach out my leg, probably doesn't look like it. As I come up, I'm trying to keep my leg in the same spot. I'm sure it's dropping, but I'm also trying to lengthen. And then the stretches that we typically do after tree, um, same that I showed in the um, TheraBand, but you can either use your hand or if you have a circle, you can use it or you can use the towel, which is great. Um, I'll use the towel here and then kind of show you. So when you're done with one leg, then you can do your stretches. So from here, a box has a handle here. You would bring your leg out to the side and roll yourself back. Now, my foot is still keeping me here and I am stretching, and then I come up, I come up tall, I switch hands, and then I do that spine twist. So I'm actively pulling, trying to sit up nice and tall, look over that shoulder, and then I come back. So um, you can also then do the figure four stretch. That's the last one. Um, if, you, if you don't wanna use this or you don't have a ring, it takes a while to get yourself there, but um, how you would do this is you would hold the bottom of your foot, um, same leg, same arm, come out. My socks are a little slippery today. You come out 
and then come back again that guy right there that's your lifeline here I can feel more of a stretch here I come up I switch over so I change hands I come over I come up and I stretch across so I'm reaching and twisting trying to stay up nice and tall and then from there I bend my knee and then this is your figure four stretch and that's it that's kind of a very long video on the short box series and some variations that you can do um, again if at any time you're worried about being on a reformer and doing short box um, I definitely recommend trying the mat variation where you have the TheraBand and then work your way up, sit on a couple of yoga blocks, maybe throw in the TheraBand. Um, and then you can always try it here. Um, before I end, I'll show you a little bit of a beginner variation that's um, pretty fun to do. And if you're worried about having the shortness of the box this way, at the beginning of the video, I talked about how the short box is also long box. Um, if you're not comfortable with the short uh, piece of this, then I recommend ask, asking your instructor if you can turn the box the long way. So I'm gonna show you really quick what that looks like because I think it is something um, that's great for beginners or people who tend to drop in their low back a little bit. Because you can do the entire series with the long box this way. And I'll show you what that looks like. So instead of being back on a, on a very short, short box, which you'd already be way back here, you can do this where you have the strap, but my feet are on the front of the reformer and I'm in a bent position. So if you watch the other two videos, you'll, you'll know that in that Theraband video, this was the position that we were in on the mat. So my feet are pressing in, but I have a strap. My legs are bent. It's going to give me more support. And best thing is that when I go back, look how much extra space I have here. It feels safer. So if you are worried about balance or anything like that, I highly recommend you ask, can I turn my box the long way? Sometimes I just do it like this in class, um, the long way, because sometimes it just feels good. And um, sometimes it's easier for you to feel your glute muscle your glutes um, by having your legs bent. So um, where I was showing earlier, I can be here or I can be here. Sometimes it's easier if you have a bent leg and you're pressing into something instead of hanging out on a strap. So um, from here, I am rounded and I come back and it feels very safe. If I wanna practice going a little bit lower, I can and I can, I'm still on the box and then I can work on that spinal articulation. I can feel it in the box as I come forward. So that would be the last option um, or a good option if you're a little unsure on whether or not you wanna try Reformer. There are definitely great modifications um, and things that you can do to make you feel safe and really give you a great workout. So um, hopefully,